Apparitions of Our Lady of Rosa Mystica Mother Mary appears as the Rosa Mystica in Monticciari. Monticciari is a small town in northern Italy, 20 km from Brescia, which was the bishop's town. In this place, Mother Mary gave apparitions to Pierina Gilli. Pierina Gilli was born on August 3, 1911. at Monticciari and worked as a nurse in the hospital there. The first time our dear mother appeared to her was in a room of the hospital in the spring of 1947. In the apparition, our lady wore a violet dress and white veil around her head. She was very sad. Her eyes were filled with tears which fell to the floor. Her chest was pierced by three big swords and our lady said, prayer, penitence, expiation and was silent this was the first apparition the second apparition was on june 13 1947 here our lady appeared again in the hospital early one sunday morning this time mother mary was dressed in white and instead of the three swords she had three roses a white one a red one and a golden or yellow one pierina gilli asked her please tell me who you are Our lady answered smiling I am the mother of Jesus and the mother of all of you Our Lord sends me to bring a new Marian devotion for all male and female institutes religious orders and secular priests I promise those religious institutes orders and secular priests who venerate me in this special way my protection and increase of spiritual vocations fewer betrayed vocations and great sanctity among the servants of God. I wish the 13th of each month to be celebrated as the day of Mary. On the 12 preceding days, special prayers of preparation should be said. With an expression of great joy, Mother Mary went on, On this day I shall send to these religious institutes members of orders and secular priests who have honored me in this way, a superabundance of graces and great sanctity. I wish the 13th of July of each year to be celebrated in honor of the Rosa Mystica, the mystical rose. With these words, the conversation ended. Now, Our Lady explained to Pierina the meaning of the three swords and the three roses. The first sword means loss of the vocation as a priest or a monk. The second sword means priests, monks and nuns who live in deadly sin. The third sword means priests and monks who commit the treason of Judas Mother Mary said the white rose means the spirit of prayer the red rose means the spirit of expiation and sacrifice the yellow or golden rose means the spirit of penitence well expiation means expiation is an act of atonement for a sin or wrong doing and yellow or golden rose is for spirit of penitence Penitence means a feeling of regret or remorse. The second apparition ended. The third apparition was on October 22, 1947. Our beautiful Mother Mary appeared again this time in the chapel of the hospital in Monticciari during the service. Many employees of the hospital, some physicians and people from the town were present there. Our Lady asked for the realization of the devotion and she recommended and said among other things my divine son tired of the continuing offenses wanted to act according to his justice so i placed myself as a mediatrix between him and the human race and our lady took leave with a beautiful thought for pierina saying live for love for charity in the fourth and fifth apparitions mother mary came to pierina and said about how angry is god and how mother mary was stopping the just deserved punishments from not coming to us so now the sixth apparition was on december 7 1947 on this apparition mother mary said tomorrow i shall show you my immaculate heart which human beings know so little in fatima i spread the dedication to my immaculate heart in bonet I tried to introduce this devotion to into Christian families and here in Monticciari I wish the devotion of the Rosa Mystica together with the veneration of my immaculate heart 
to be increased in the religious institutes and the monastic communities in order that these souls dedicated to God may receive more graces from my motherly heart. In this apparition, Mother Mary came up with two little children in her right side and left side. And seeing this, Pierina asked, Who are the two children at your side? And Our Lady said, Jacinta and Francisco, who were the one of the two seers of Fatima. And Our Lady said, They will be your companions in all your afflictions. They too have suffered, though they were very much younger than you. Look, this is how I would like you to be simple and good as these children used to be. And Our Lady extend her, extended her arms protectingly, looked up to heaven and exclaimed, Praised be the Lord. Then she disappeared. And the seventh apparition was on December 8, 1947. On this great feast of St. Mary, thousands of people gathered from everywhere there. Pierina Gilly had great difficulty in getting into the, the overcrowded parish church. She knelt down on the spot where the other appearances had taken place. While people were praying the rosary, Pierina exclaimed, O La Madonna, which means Our Lady. As Mother Mary said on, on the before apparition that she will show her immaculate heart to Pierina, so Pierina came to church today on this feast of December 8th and she was waiting there for Mother Mary's apparition and to see the Immaculate Heart. At once there was a great silence. The pastor reported that if it had become so silent and still that one could hear the humming of a single fly, then in that environment, that peaceful environment, Our Lady appeared on a big white staircase which was decorated on both sides with white and yellow and red flowers and red roses. Our dear lady smiled and said, I am the Immaculate Conception. And with great majesty descending, she said, I am Mary of Grace, that is, the full of grace, mother of my divine son Jesus Christ. And Mother Mary continued, I come here to Monticciari because it is my wish to be appealed to and venerated as Rosa Mystica. I wish people to celebrate each year on December 8th at noon the hour of grace for the whole world. With this exercise, one will receive numerous spiritual and bodily graces. Our Lord, my Divine Son Jesus, will be abundantly merciful so long as good men go on praying for their fellow men. As soon as possible, let the Supreme Shepherd of the Church, Pope Pius, Dwell. Know it as no it is no it is my wish that this hour of grace be publicized and spread throughout the whole world. If someone cannot go to church at this time, he is to pray at noon at home, and he will receive graces from me. He who prays on me, he who prays on these bricks and sheds tears of repentance, will find a secure ladder to heaven and get protection and graces from my motherly heart. These beautiful words of a beautiful and radiant mother showed Pierina her heart, her immaculate heart, and said the following words. Look at this heart which loves human beings so very much. Though most of them overwhelm it with abuses, when good people and bad people unite in prayer, they will receive mercy and peace from this heart. At present, the Lord has been merciful to the good ones because of my intercession. This has delayed a great judgment of God. And Mother Mary smiling. And she went on, Very soon, one will know how important this hour of grace is. Purina noticed that Mother Mary was about to leave and said, O oh beautiful dear Mary, I thank you. Please bless my home, land, Italy. Bless the whole world, especially the Holy Father, the priests, the monks, the nuns, and the sinners. And Our Lady answered, I have an abundance of graces ready for all those children who hear my voice and take my wishes to heart. With these words, the vision ended. And this was the beautiful story of Our Lady Rosa Mystica.